All right, gonna have a little update on the uh, hives. This is two days after we put our mating box into place. Uh, first day, these guys all bearded up on the outside, or uh, maybe not quite bearded, but uh, did their little shimmy walk. And uh, but I don't know if that was because of the the relocation or what. They kind of cover the outside of the box. I thought maybe it could have been something with the heat, but uh, yesterday and today, they don't seem bothered by the heat. Um, they're mostly staying inside. They look uh, pretty active down in the holes. I don't know if you're going to be able to see in the one, but uh, they seem to be doing, doing plenty of activity. I think uh, it was, you know, mostly nurse bees that I grabbed to stick in there so they wouldn't really be coming and going a whole lot for the first couple days. Uh, I should have foragers sooner than later. Uh, this is the box where all the queen cells were made and uh, these guys are still super strong. I'm hoping uh, that this turns out to be good genetics. Um, the queen is over here she got moved um, she was supposed to stay uh, but since I don't really go looking for the Queen very often uh, and I have yet to see her in fact um, she went in with the uh, what was supposed to be the split um, so she's over there but now her daughters will be taken over here um, hopefully today or tomorrow these Queen cells will be hatching and uh, and if it goes well they look good um, you know I'll have spare queens um, and at the very least uh, that box that I made can also uh, be turned into a single hive uh, if need be it has those dividers in it but I could put a spacer um, under here and allow them to have access to all three you know and maybe make like a single lid uh, and that would they would have to go over those dividers but uh, I still think they would they would turn it into a single hive and this is um, the same size as a 10 frame so uh, I could always stack that on top of another one to help uh, keep their heat in the winter time but I believe I'm going to go into our newest swarm today. These guys down here, uh, they seem pretty active and have been doing good, I hope. Uh, but they, they've been here, they, they arrived the same day that I made my split. Um, so that's at least two weeks or close to 16 days because uh, we should be hatching queens. But that's this batch right here. They seem like they've been pretty happy. I'm gonna go in there today and see how they're doing drawing stuff out. Supposedly swarms are uh, very active on the, the drawing out of frames. All right, got the smoker ready. We are gonna go into our newest swarm. Uh, they are swarm number eight in the record book. Uh, we have a uh, we have swarm one, swarm two in the closer eight frame or in the closer ten frame box there. Swarm three is here, uh, and they used to be in that one. And then there's a few swarms in between that uh, didn't work out. So now we are at Swarm 8. We'll just give them a little. I have not been in there with these guys yet. I'm not, uh, I'm not looking to stir them up too badly. Uh, I just want to take a peek and see that they're uh, drawing out that comb and that everything is looking cool. Uh, I don't really need to see eggs. I don't really need to see anything if uh, If we didn't get the queen when we caught it, they probably would have absconded by now uh, as far as I know 
but you know, what do I know? First year beekeeper. All right, let's see. Mm, got a few guys on top here. Um, they had, I'd given them a frame or two um, from the other hives. So they had a frame or two to work on, but I believe all of these top five were um, just foundations. So let's see what we got. Try to keep this camera in the right spot. Okay, well, there's a little bit on this outside one. Um, for the most part, just as a, a general of what's been going on since we started here, everyone likes the morning side. Uh, nobody really goes crazy um, for this side of the box. The afternoon side, everybody yeah, kind of goes towards that side. Oh my god, I'm gonna kill myself with this smoke. <coughs> let's, uh, let's put it somewhere where it's not gonna bother anybody, maybe. I don't think we're really going to need it. Um, I'm not going to be too invasive. Uh, definitely see some comb on this guy. Uh, that side is looking great. So this is all, all their work. Um, same here. Looking super good. That's all good. Now I, I could be mistaken. One of uh, one of these top ones could be one I gave them, like this one or or this one could be uh, the frame I gave them. But I would think I would have stuck it in the bottom. But um, you know. So this, I mean, that's that's awesome. That that uh, makes me super happy. They are definitely drawing stuff out. Um, now, if you looked on any of my uh, previous videos, um, I don't know if you guys can see down in there, but uh, I was having an issue with the top box for these nukes, the second stories, um, getting all sorts of comb built between the frames because I had um, made the, the top box here. I don't know if you can really see it here. But this top box I had built the same height as this bottom box and the bottom box has a built-in base so um, it has that that extra space at the bottom you don't want that here you need to make this a little shorter maybe you can kind of see that it's like that but, um, just something to keep in mind if you're you know designing and modifying um, I usually cut all my stuff just a little bit oversized and uh, always assume I can just take it down if need be and I never really do so all my stuff is probably a little wider than it needs to be um, you know what since uh, I'm not really up here laying in this or anything it's, um, I'm gonna take this one that is the only one that really needs a little work and drop it in here. Um, I don't know if we got bit with me being a little overactive in the beginning, but we, we certainly had some issues with the uh, queen in the hive that we purchased. And uh, I don't know, maybe I, I, you know, I moved frames in on her early or, or something and, uh, you know, just caused issues. I really thought we lost her and, and they were requeening her. But uh, she was in there. We did find her after about six weeks. All right. So I'm going to take this top box off and take a look at the bottom. Okay, so here's our bottom box. I'll just set the top one next to it. Now you can kind of see that height difference there. Turns out, importanto. Okay, um, I didn't really smoke these guys, but they don't seem to be too bad you know like the swarms have been super nice all the time I, I haven't got bit yet on a swarm uh, call stung I should say the wife got stung because she was trying to help me um, one time but uh, I do got a lot of guys looking at me maybe I'll, I'll give them a little smoke because I want to pull that out and make room to eyeball the rest 
to start a yard fire. See this one out of here. Looks very well drawn out. Um, I would assume my queen is on the bottom. So, uh, but there isn't a whole lot on this frame, so I'm pretty confident setting this one out. I really need to make me a frame holder. All right, let's see. Um, so so, it's a little drawn, and this one is so so a little drawn. This one's looking a little, a little better. It looks like they're doing most of their work in the top. I was, uh, I was a little surprised. You can see that chaining down there. I don't know if you guys can see that. Supposedly, it has something to do with measuring out their, their work there. Okay. Well, I'm gonna say they did more work in the top, and that could be because now that I look at these, I would say that frame that I gave them of food went into the top um, which now makes me feel bad for setting the top box on nothing but the uh, runners here I don't want the, the queen falling out the bottom so these guys have been doing pretty good I don't see anything capped off um, I'm not sure 16 days is enough to dehydrate honey, but uh, definitely looks like they got a lot of uh, food in there. So I'm going to get this back together and uh, just look around, make sure I didn't do anything too retarded. Alright, this is, uh, let's give you a reference point here, this is our double bird box. Um, this is our second swarm that we caught and until the third swarm came along, they were our strongest. Uh, they're the only ones sitting with 20 frames. Uh, I was just going through in here and looking to see how much work they've been doing. Um, we're definitely working on these foundations pretty well. Uh, we got them mostly drawn out. Um, I had to steal some of these foundation frames. steal some of these for the new swarm that came in and uh, they still got plenty of work to do you can see that one's still needing some work this side don't have nothing uh, over here this side doesn't have anything um, this 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 and this are uh, these crappy medium frames uh, I tried putting wire in some I put some uh, string and some, some fishing line. Uh, it's probably best to just not do anything. Um, I believe I'm just going to take them back out uh, in the near future here and just leave them open. Um, I put wood starter strips in a lot of them. I, I see nothing starting. Um, but you know they still have other stuff to work on so uh, I just wanted to check on these guys because I see them uh, being really active and they certainly have a lot a lot more bees going on. Um, even the one, this is the hive we bought, uh, so I call this one the main hive. They um, are putting the biggest beard outside during the heat of the day. Uh, so I'm going to go in there and just make sure, uh, just a couple weeks ago they were only on seven frames and, uh, and this super on top was just there to help with, with ventilation really um, it's full of those crappy medium frames also uh, so we're going to take a peek in there just to see how they're doing okay pull the lid off of there uh, you can see these medium frames that uh, don't really have anything uh, they're not ready for another box you know they weren't ready for a box when i gave them this uh, I was just hoping to make a little more ventilation out of it. Just gonna bust things up a little bit here so I can move these around. And uh, I'm just gonna pull these center ones out and take a
take a look down there inside. See how everybody's doing. Yeah. I'm building a little bit of junk. Okay, uh, this looks good. Lots of bees. Uh, like I said, this is, we I really thought we had killed the queen because things were going so badly here. Uh, I thought we saw a mating flight. Um, in fact, I have a, a video um, that was taken uh, down here in front of these guys where it was a bunch of bees out front, um, not swarming, not necessarily a mating flight. I didn't see drones. Um, possibly an orientation flight and. Uh, we saw, we saw it here, and we saw it there on the same day, just shortly after each other. So we were thinking that it was a mating flight that was going on uh, when we first saw it. But since we don't really know anything, uh, turns out it's probably just a, an orientation flight. And I did find the queen in here after, uh, you know, like six weeks of having this hive. Uh, she still had this slightest little smidgen of the white uh, paint marker on her from last year. But these guys look good. Um, you can see those really dark frames down there are the original frames that the, the new came with. And I've been working in these other ones. Uh, God, I really want to... I'm going to have to take this box off uh, and see if they've expanded out all the way. Because then I'm going to feel like I need to put something here that they can actually work with. Uh, these frames are... Just, like nobody wants them. I put that little wood starter strip in there and that was pointless. Uh... So who loves semi-interesting stories? Yeah, me too. When we got this, we had already caught our first swarm. Uh, this box, this uh, nuke that we bought was supposed to be the beginnings of our beekeeping. Uh, but we ended up getting a swarm call. And uh, we weren't even really signed. We were signed up to, to do a ride along. Uh, but we got listed on the website as expert bee catchers. So, and we're the only people in this area uh, that's part of the bee club here. So, we, we've actually gotten quite a few calls, hence uh, Swarm 8. Um, but, so we, we got our first swarm a few days uh, before this came in. Oh, almost a week and uh, so we get to technically say that we started you know the natural way I guess but um, the thing is the, the retarded story I was gonna tell uh, I got used to working with that swarm uh, you know they were they were super cool and uh, everything was great and you know they were calm and here I am wearing all this you know equipment and all this get up and uh, it just felt stupid so I started slacking off and I came over here to these guys after having them in here for a week to give them their first inspection and I just had my helm you know just the the net on my head and as soon as I pop it they come out sting me on the arm the wife's right here <laughs> we're like okay back up and I don't put anything on top of this. And we we head over that way to get our smoker and, and our gloves and equipment. And while we're over there, 